Skin cancer is one of the most common cancers in Canada, and sunscreen is an important way to mitigate the risk. Now, recently, a banana boat sunscreen product was recalled for containing benzene, itself a known cancer-causing chemical. But that shouldn't stop you from using sun protection products. Benzene is not planned to be in sunscreen. It's not even a byproduct of one of the active ingredients. It seems that it's part of the manufacturing process of some of these products. In other words, you won't find benzene listed as an ingredient in sunscreen, so it's not something you need to look for and avoid. So what should you look for? Firstly, there are two types of sunscreen with their own ingredients. There's one set called organic, uh, which um, contains ingredients like octocrylene, uh, benzophenone, the other uh, kind of sunscreen are the mineral sunscreens, and they contain zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Dr. Rosen adds that both are equally effective and safe. They're all uh, very protective. There have been studies that have shown that there's some absorption of uh, the organic chemicals, but even the study that showed that there was some absor absorption in the skin actually concluded by saying, just because we found this doesn't mean you should stop wearing sunscreen because there's still no signal that there's any biological harm. And what about SPF? Is a higher number really better? It's much better to get an SPF of 50 or 60, partly because they do indeed provide greater protection, but also because human beings apply much less sunscreen generally than is used in the official testing to determine the sun protection factor. So SPF of 50, 60 is nice because when people put on half as much, they're getting an SPF 30. Dr. Rosen adds that SPF is indicative of protection against ultraviolet B or UVB rays that cause sunburn. You also want protection against UVA, which has been linked to skin aging, wrinkles, and possibly some types of skin cancer. And the other thing to look for is the words broad spectrum or the letters UVA enclosed in a circle. And that's important because that means that that product has met the European standard for ultraviolet A protection. UV ultimately leads to the formation of skin cancer by causing uh, DNA damage in the skin and sunscreens can prevent that DNA damage. Now, Dr. Rosen says to put on your sunscreen before you get outside. In case you forget or you need to top up, the City of Toronto, along with Chopper's Drug Mart and two melanoma charities, has sunscreen dispensers across 75 locations in the city. Staying sun safe here on Toronto's waterfront, I'm Gilchad Berman for City News.